What is the difference between full-time, four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive? Today I'm going to explain this as simply as possible. Full-time, four-wheel drive is always on. All-wheel drive is only on when there's a problem. Four-wheel drive is always on, but will self-destruct if driven on road. The benefits. Full-time four-wheel drive offers the best traction in all conditions. All-wheel drive offers better traction than two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive offers best traction for off-road only. Now these are very simple oversimplifications to help beginners understand, but those are essentially the basics. So let's discuss real quick the details. Uh, full-time four-wheel drive always has all four wheels spinning. You can use it on dirt road or you can use it on pavement. It's just defaults to that position and you can just drive both on and off-road with all four wheels spinning. So many, uh, many people often say, well, isn't that all-wheel drive? Don't all uh, four wheels on all-wheel drive cars turn all the time. No. Despite the name all-wheel drive, modern all-wheel drive systems are known as slip and grip systems, meaning they generally function with only two wheels driving. And when the uh, computer systems in all-wheel drive cars since that uh, a, certain, a certain amount of wheel slippage, in other words, when they sense that there's a problem, they, uh, the system will send power to the rear wheels. Otherwise, your typical all-wheel drive system defaults to two-wheel drive, despite the name. Very important. So what is your typical four-wheel drive again? Well, that is similar to full-time four-wheel drive, except you will do damage if you uh, drive in four-wheel drive on the pavement. Traditional four-wheel drive can only be driven off-road where the surfaces are slippery or loose. Otherwise, you will do damage. Hence, it's important to determine what is best for you because all three systems are not the same. And despite marketing or looks of an, a, a particular vehicle, they don't all have the same system. For example, a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon does not have full-time four-wheel drive. It has four-wheel drive. A Toyota um, 4 runner TRD Pro does not have full-time four-wheel drive. It has four-wheel drive. An old 80s, 1980s Audi has full-time four-wheel drive. So that may uh, seem shocking, but um, uh, you really have to uh, pay attention to uh, what the car you're interested in has as far as a uh, as far as its four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive system. They're not the same, and um, in general, 
the best of both worlds is full-time four-wheel drive. Um, uh, but the, uh, the, the second option is all-wheel drive if you are intending to primarily stay on road. If you're going to do off-roading, four-wheel drive is good, but you have to remember to turn it off if you go back on pavement. So, no one system is better than the other. It all depends on what you're looking for. So if you rarely go off-roading, for instance, four-wheel drive will be perfect for you as long as you remember to take it out of four-wheel drive when you get back on the pavement. If you're never going to go off-roading and you just want uh, better traction when you're on road, on normal roads in rainy or snowy conditions or slippery conditions on road, then all-wheel drive would be good for you. If you uh, do a lot of off-roading and on-roading, or you live or work off-road, in other words, you may live off-road and work on-road, or vice versa, work off-road and live on-road, and you're constantly going back and forth between on and off-road, on and off-road, then full-time four-wheel drive would be best for you. There is one other consideration, and that is uh, full-time four-wheel drive also offers superior on-road traction because the system does not need to wait uh, to detect slip in order to activate all four wheels when you are on road as well. So in other words, when you're driving in a full-time four-wheel drive car on road, all four wheels are turning and already ready to handle a uh, loose traction situation. Whereas an all-wheel drive car on the road will have to wait until it senses slippage before it activates uh, the other two wheels. This activation uh, is uh, will take a matter of seconds, milliseconds, in fact, to activate but there still is a technical delay and that may not seem important to you and it may not matter to you but there is a delay between the all-wheel drive act activating itself versus a four-wheel a full-time four-wheel drive system that is uh, already uh, in a position to be on. So in other words, one system, that is the all-wheel drive system, is reactive, and the full-time four-wheel drive system is active. And lastly, there's one more drive type uh, known as 4-Auto. What is 4-Auto? Really simple, all-wheel drive. So everything uh, stated earlier that applies to all-wheel drive is 4-Auto. Four, four so 4-Auto, just like all-wheel drive, is only on when there's a problem. In other words, when wheel slippage is sensed, uh, it will send power to the uh, the wheels that are slipping. So, 4 auto is not the same as full-time four-wheel drive. Instead, 4 auto is the same as modern all-wheel drive. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.